with the FDA now giving full approval on the Pfizer jab, the mandates have started. And I think this is just the beginning of us seeing the flood, as they call it. Come on in. We're going to get into all the details, guys. First, if you could, please do me a huge favor, like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, yes, Pfizer, as expected, they have now given full, or they've been given full approval from the FDA on their jab. What does it mean? Absolutely nothing, but, I mean, to you and me, but to other companies, they see this as a huge opportunity. Their eyes today have lit up like it was Christmas morning and all the presents as they come down the stairs and they look and say, oh my goodness, look what, what, look what Santa Claus has brought us. All the wonderful gifts, yes, from the FDA. The most important gift of all is that they have given us our approval on the job. Yeah, it's wonderful, isn't it? Oh, well, okay. We're just having a little fun here. We have to laugh, right? Because if we don't, we're going to, what are we going to do? We're going to just melt away. But yes, uh, now New York City, they have announced today that they are mandating the jab for all teachers and all staff by September 27th. They will be forced. And as of right now, there are no exceptions to this whatsoever. This goes right along with uh, you know New York City's whole jab passport deal where you have to show proof of the jab to be able to get into businesses or you're going to get denied goods and services you know they call it the key to NYC they announced that weeks ago and then the enforcements for that are starting in September that was even before the FDA gave Pfizer its full approval but here we go with the schools now so you got to think all of these teachers you know the time I'm recording this they have a month now to get this before going back for the fall semester a lot of these teachers are going to be out of a job like i said these staffers too principals at whatever position you are in the school you know you're going to be gone contractors you will also be forced to take the jab too if you're working with any local nyc school and this has a lot of people very concerned now previously these teachers and staff you know it was well you could either get the jab or you could take a weekly rona test so i'm sure a lot of them were thinking well i'll just do the weekly test i mean i want to keep my job and so well i'll take the lesser of the two evils and i don't support the test you know taking either because i believe there's a whole other evil side of that as well i won't go into that here on this video though but they might have thought that hey lesser of two evils i'll just take the test test is no longer an option no longer an option and they have not said anything about a religious exemption or a medical exemption. So if those aren't offered either, these teachers have, and, and other employees, well, they have about a month uh, before they lose their jobs altogether. And then, you know, you're putting these kids in even more of a bind. These schools, let me just tell you what, the public schools are just a disaster in general. And so and I know there's good teachers out there. I know that. But, you know, I always say if parents have the opportunity, if you have the opportunity to homeschool your kids, or, or get them into a private school where, you know, the, the agenda is right, because a lot of the private schools you can't trust either, uh, then do that. Um, having these kids here, and then they just indoctrinate them anyway in public schools, it, it's just sick. You know, I've talked about it for years now, even before all the Rona stuff started happening. But now we have the mandates coming, and I just feel that, not I only feel, I know, according to prophecy, you know, as we continue to progress here, Things are going to get much uh, worse. But guys, let me say really quick, if you could make a generous donation here to our ministry, you know, we're demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support us any longer with what we do. You guys can help us out, either PayPal or Patreon down below, even just five bucks a month. You're going to get bonus content. We also include the links to the YouTube videos there to make sure you get all the alerts when the new content arrives. Plus, when you're there, you can also comment on the video censorship free and avoid YouTube blocking and hiding what you guys are saying because it's happening more and more now. Plus, I'm also over on Rumble. You guys can go sub to me there. That is our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. And we're already posting there. All those links are down below. Any generous amount you guys can contribute is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for that. Uh, as far as students go, no official word on whether or not they're going to make students, you know, mandatory for them to get the jab. However, Bill de Blasio, the wonderful mayor of New York City, did in fact say that coaches 
and anybody who's playing in any sports in these schools, they will have to get the jab. And so if you're someone that wants to get into the sports there in New York City schools, you got to take the jab. Uh, if you don't want to, well, then I guess you're not playing in sports, which, again, I, I think it's terrible that they're holding this over kids' heads. They should be able to play sports without any sort of a mandate on them, uh, but they don't care. They just don't care. As we continue to march toward Revelation chapter 13, the Bible prophecy, we talk about it all the time. That's why we do these videos. We're trying to get the message of Jesus Christ out there to people because he is coming back soon. But do you have him as your Lord and Savior? Because if not, well, we want to give you this chance right now. You could do this prayer in your own words, but I'm going to give you the steps you need to take in order to accept Jesus as Savior. The first thing that you want to do is you want to acknowledge that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is that you have to repent of your sin. And repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry. But you have to actively turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, and he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray that you make that decision today. I will have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk. Really soon.